Friday, 16th of May. Taxi vlog 300 and five or six, somewhere around there. I think it's 306. Uh, well, you know, I had such a good month. things. This will stop soon. Oh, I'm only second in zone. That means I could get a call anytime. Well, like I was saying, um, you know, I've had a really good month before this week. And so it came as a bit of a surprise to me that when I came out on Monday, I didn't make any money. It was slow. It took two hours to get my first trip. And then after dropping that off, it took another hour to get my next trip. And then it took me another two hours to get my third trip. Here we were almost midnight, and I had $35 on with an $80 lease. That's a little stressful. And then you go, well, since my Monday's been messed up, that's going to screw my whole week. And maybe it did. I don't, I don't know yet. Let's just say that on, after working all night Monday night, I made a whole eight dollars for myself. Tuesday night started a lot better. I was getting, you know, a few trips. So in the first couple hours I had three or four trips. So I'm going, okay, this is more normal. And by around 11, 11.30, I had broken even. And I had until 6 o'clock to go. I had a couple of really lucky... Well, I lucked into a party. And they had these charges. And these people from this party, you know, they would say, they'd like, take me to the beer store down the street and then take me home, which was halfway between where the party was and where the beer store was. And it wasn't a great big distance. And then they would tack $10 onto the charge on top of that because, hey, they weren't paying for it. It was on the company's dime. Great. So I had a couple of those and uh, just some really good people and enough of them to keep me busy into the morning so that I did okay. I had a good Tuesday. And usually Tuesday is the worst night of the week. Or, you know, conventional wisdom would have you think so. That was okay. So I wasn't so worried anymore. I thought, okay, I got my mojo working again. I came out Wednesday night. And Wednesday night, I couldn't believe my luck. I would get like a $18 fare and the girl would give me 30 bucks. I think she was happy because she just got laid. Because, you know, the guy wearing shorts in the doorway as she was leaving kind of made it obvious what, what, what the hell was going on. Uh, so that was a good night. Um, The other thing that happened, I got sent to the McDonald's when it was really the quietest point, point of the night. I had sat for about an hour. I got sent to the McDonald's just down the road. And these three boys, one of them was going to the Indian reservation. Oh, all right, I'll accept that. And then another one was going near the general hospital. And another one was going out to, you know, Happy Valley Road, which is out in the western communities. So that was uh, good. It was like $42 on the meter. He gave me 60 and said, keep the change. So, you know, that, that makes for a decent Wednesday. And they kept me busy into the morning. So, like, I took home a couple hundred that night. So not too bad. Then last night I came out. It was going okay again. I broke even around 11, 11.30. And then, boom, it died. It died so dead that I think I made 
$50 after breaking even between 11 o'clock and uh, in the morning hours. Five o'clock. But I got a note here, and the note here says, if you can't read it, Andy, I'll be starting at 6 a.m. on Fridays. Cheers, Rod. That's the Friday guy who started at 5. Now he'll start at 6. So I can work till 6 every day. Man, things don't usually go this good. But I have a cooperative team that I'm working with, and this guy's being very cooperative. I got it in by 5.15 in the morning, and that's because I had one... You know, I get sent to an address, and I'm pulling up to the place, and I see another cab picking up people and they drive away. So I call the phone number with my cell phone of the people in the building. They answer but nobody says anything and I just hear the sounds of the inside of a cab driving. No voices, just that's it. Okay, I got scooped. So then I called a no load on the machine here and the dispatcher said left me a message saying, they're gone? So I called him on the phone. I said, yeah, I just got scooped by a bluebird. And he said, well, car 55's been sitting at Harriet and Burnside for the last 20 minutes, and that was after he answered the call. Oh, asleep on the job. Well, I guess it serves us right for not servicing the customer. So they called another company, and the other company showed up. Zoom. Then I got sent across the bridge, and I said, well, I've been waiting an hour and a half for this no load. I'm going to go across the bridge and get one more. I went across the bridge. It was a $6 fare taking the uh, girl to work who works at the coffee shop. So Thursday was quite the bust. At least now I know on Thursday night or Friday morning, I can work till 6 from now on. That is lovely. So now it's Friday. I'm on my way to my first call. As Friday start, the call is always far away from where you are. And there is some traffic, but traffic is not too bad. It being 6.30 in the evening, I will be working till 6. And when we get close to that 6 o'clock time, I will be talking to you again letting you know how tonight went. Uh, I looked at the Weather Network website last Sunday and it said sunny, 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 sunny until this Sunday. Now it's Friday, it's looking cloudy, I think it's going to rain tonight. So the rain got to us a little sooner than uh, they predicted a week ago, which isn't all that bad. Anyways, get to you at the end of the night because I'm just about there where I'm supposed to pick him up. Okay, well, we're out at the airport right now, and it's uh, 5.02 a.m. Here's what happened. It was a slow start to the night, and uh, not much was going on. I think I had a couple of fares my first hour. And I think I had a couple of fares the second hour. And it went along until about, oh, I'd say 10 o'clock. Actually, I just cleared at 10 o'clock, five minutes away from home. Now, I don't know what prompted me to go home. But I figured, I'll go home and drink a glass of water. I had cold water in the refrigerator. And I just was thirsty, so I went home to get me a glass of cold water from the refrigerator. And Cindy was just going to bed. So I kissed her goodnight. And when I was leaving, she said, can you give the rabbits three scoops of food. Okay, so I gave the rabbits some three scoops of food and uh, after doing that I was standing there in the living room going, I've had my glass of water, I've 
kissed Cindy goodnight, I fed the rabbits, what else is there to do but go to work? So, I got back in the car, and I think I drove three blocks, and then this thing came up. It said, it gave, gave me the address on Electra Drive, which is the airport. Short-term parking. And it gave me the name of this guy, saying that he's coming in on a flight from Calgary. And I said, okay, fine. I'll go for it. Because in town, everything was kind of meh. Nothing much was going on. So I get out to the airport, short-term parking, and this this tall young guy comes out, and he just had a carry-on, put it in the trunk, and he said, we're going on a long one. He said, we're going to East Souk. I don't know what the hell happened there, but for some reason the camera shut itself off. I think it's getting low on battery power. Anyway, this guy went out to East Souk and it ended up being like $116 on the meter. It took an hour to drive out there. And uh, that $116 became $140 in my pocket. And on my way back from East Souk, I had a couple of fares out in the western communities adding up to another 50 bucks. And since then I've just been coasting. And now in the morning I had another fare out to the airport um, for, let's see, how much did he give me? It says here 36.25 and he gave me 41.25, so five dollar tip. Um, that's that's great. That's just great. I've done well. Uh, I think I got enough money so we can take Cindy out to dinner, get some groceries, and gas up my car. Maybe even get a six pack and go through the car wash. <laughs> So it has been successful. What a, what a Friday night. What a lucky Friday night. I, <coughs> I can't complain about any of it, really. Well, I hope yours is better than mine. Even though mine hasn't been bad at all. And I was so dejected when I went home, too. I was so bummed out. I thought, have a glass of water, and then something told me, go to work, go back to work. And sure enough, I don't know if it's like a guardian angel or there's some kind of force sometimes working for me. I don't know what it is, I can't explain it, but there's... What are the chances to go outside at that time and get back in the car at that time and get a trip that turned my whole night around and just improved stuff? And we're going on vacation in a week and a half. I'm so looking forward to that. So looking forward to that vacation. It's been too long. I can just drive back into town now and vacuum out the car and wash it, fuel it up, and park it. And you know what? That's pretty much what I'm going to do. See you next week.